Today's video is not a car review video or any car advice of some sort. In today's video, we are looking back at the previous year and the years beyond. 2023 has been a year of roller coaster for me and my YouTube channel. It has been wow, Nedibuwa guys. Yo, I, I, I know you guys have not seen me uh, doing live review in quite a long time. Yeah. I, I kind of gave a little bit of an explanation in the previous videos where I told you I've got a person who does the, the filming for me and then I've got uh, a person who does the editing for me and then I just come up with my voice and my research and my knowledge and stuff like that. Yeah, it's still the way it is and the reason why I haven't been really in front of the camera is because of my health. But if you guys want to know what has been happening with me health-wise, from 2021 22 23 i have reserved that kind of content for the members only so if you want to know what has been happening to me uh since two years ago or three years ago all you have to do is to join the the, the family join the Katu Katu on cast family become a member then i'm gonna make videos where i'm gonna be explaining everything in detail as to what was wrong with me or what is still wrong with me you know you guys are going to even know anything about me on a personal basis that is based on the reason why i have not been doing any live review because i have not really been going to any dealership or any place where there's a car so i've got people doing that for me but otherwise if you want to know more uh join the membership and then uh you will get information there So now in this video, I have picked up a couple of videos that I think are the best videos for me uh, as far as previous years are concerned. Uh, these, are no, these are not in any particular order or any number of views or likes or whatever. I just think that the content given on those videos was much more relevant. Uh, yeah, something like that. But however, they are my personal uh, best performing videos in my YouTube channel but before that allow me to say this guys yo you guys are there saying hey you can make extra income online is hey, hey youtube is not easy youtube is not easy you don't just post a video then voila you've got money in your account no it's not easy it's not easy at all and you know you know what makes it even much more difficult you know when you're starting with something and you don't know or you've got no clue you just have an idea what you want then you see other youtubers that have made it that are successful and then you think they'll be able to help you you think they'll be willing to help you you send them emails you 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 go on social medias uh, other platforms and then you try to contact them hey they will ignore you hey you will be ignored Yarr. don't ever think that people got your back they don't got your back nobody is coming for you nobody you will be ignored i have tried to contact some of the successful youtubers in our in our in our country and believe me none of them only one responded hi one failure but when i went back for more <laughs> nothing baba nothing you will try them on youtube you will try them on other platforms but still they will not assist you so you are on your own okay nobody's coming for you nobody work hard on your own do your research you know uh, i don't know just do whatever it takes to make it don't 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 try and, and and say you're gonna depend on someone helping you or whatever no it's not gonna happen nobody's coming for you anyway welcome to another one My first pick of the video was the one that I was talking about, the, the motor warranty, the maintenance plan and the service plan. I felt that this video had a lot to offer to people that were actually buying cars for the first time. First time buyers, this video was great for them. Yeah, it was also very much uh, educational for me because during the research and everything else, I got to learn a lot about um, warranties and maintenance plan and service plan. There are things that I already knew, but there were things that I did not, that I did not know that I found out only during the research of this video. And this is how it went. Being inconvenienced by an unexpected breakdown or electrical failure of your car leaves you helpless and strapped for cash. A motor warranty protects both your car 
and your budget. In today's video, we are going to talk about motor warranty, maintenance plan, service plan, and roadside assistance. Welcome to another one. A warranty is a contractual assurance given by the manufacturer to the car buyer. It covers the cost of repairing your car after an electrical fault or a mechanical breakdown or anything else. It includes parts and labor. In most cases, most of us, you and I included, we make the mistake of confusing between the warranty and the maintenance plan or the maintenance plan and the service plan. Those three are different. They are not the same. Right now, we are still talking about the warranty. And the second peak of the day for me was the video about the Audi RS3 and the Audi S3. It didn't really do very, very much well in terms of the viewings and the likes and the comments. But I felt that this was a great content. This was this was nice. And also, um, Audis are one of my favorite cars as well. And then I love this video so much. It took me quite some time before I could do it because uh, it actually... Uh, I got the footage while I was not doing very much well. So it took me quite some time before I could film it. And this is what happened. That is the Audi RS3 and the Audi S3. These two cars are almost identical. Whether we're talking about the hatchback or a sedan, almost the same G. But in this video, we are going to talk about those smaller kind of differences that set these two cars apart. I thought when the car looks aggressive, it means it can go fast. Until Audi was like, nah, man, nah, we can make any car look aggressive, but it doesn't mean that it goes fast. Look at our Audi A1, look at our Audi A3, very aggressive, but it's not fast. At least, okay, they look exactly like this, okay, not exactly, but just as you can see here on the, on the S3, the grille is functional, it's got air intakes all over the places. One thing about the front grille of the Audi A3 is that it doesn't deserve the plate number. It looks so beautiful, it looks so damn nice. If I had to buy this car, I wouldn't put in the plate number. But if I don't put a plate number, then it means I must have cold drink all the time. Hey, yeah, ne, Mzansi. The design element of the S3 and the RS3, the one on the top is the S3, the one at the bottom is the RS3. It's almost the same as you can see. It's just that for the RS3, the front grille is a bit sticked out. It sticks out a little bit. And then as you can see, the design there where I cycled in white, it's not there on the, on the S3, but it's there only on the RS3. Do you see it? And another one is of the Hyundai i30N, the South Africa's great hot hedge. Yeah, I said it. Great hot hedge. You debate if you want to. I know you are thinking the German. You are thinking the GTI. You are thinking the RS3. You are thinking all of those things. You are not giving this car a chance. I believe that this car was never given enough chance in our market. That is why I doubt if the uh, the Koreans are going to bring the the, 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 the the another generation of the i30N. Because really, we didn't give it a chance. We did not. This car can do way better. Way better than the GTI. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The Hyundai i30N discombobulate the Golf GTI on paper. Yes, on paper. It discombobulated and then Golf GTI drivers refuse to race the i3 end because they are saving themselves from what? The embarrassment. These are the clips of the video of the i3 N. Hyundai i3 N are uh, the top spec, the performance brand. It packs a two liter turbo engine with inline four cylinders. Yeah, only four cylinders. Plus everyone is coming with four cylinders and anyway. even the AMG is coming with four cylinders but a sequel up. Yeah, so the Hyundai i30N is packing 206 kilowatts uh, which is 276 horsepower and 392 newton meters of torque. So there's been an improvement from the previous uh, 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 from the previous lift because the previous lift had 201 kilowatts and this one is 206 kilowatts. It is mounted on the 8-speed dual clutch transmission. Looking at the side profile and the rear profile of this car at the same time is satisfying. Yes, it is. Great design. Beautiful. The exhaust tips, not too big, not too small. Uh, although I hate the, 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 the fake diffuser. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not real diffuser. Do you see? It doesn't diffuse anything. It's for the show. It's for the looks, which is okay, you know. 
I can already imagine with the plate number cartoon cars. But you know what? It's okay to dream. I, I'm dreaming. It's okay. You see this thing of saying, hey, 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 retail value, you must. What about retail value? What? I'm not in the business of selling cars. So I, I don't care if I buy it now and then three years later is very, very cheap. I would have benefited anyway because I would have repair all the way. Let me say this once and for all, okay? If you still think great cars only comes from Germany, USA, uh, America, uh, other countries like Spain, Sweden, and whatever, you are playing. Actually, let me just say it. You're not playing. You are brainwashed. You are brainwashed to think that the Chinese can't do it like the Germans are doing it. You are brainwashed to think, like, to think that the Koreans can't do it like the, the Europeans are doing it. Because these guys are coming in, they're coming in a big way. Look at this car here right now. This car has got all the features that you can find in your Mercedes Benz, but at a fraction of the price. Don't tell me about the reliabilities and the cost and the last thing will it last five years. I don't know. And you don't know as well. Remember, Mercedes Benz was once a new car and it had problems. Hey, why can't others have problems? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, if you still think that this people are not coming in a big way you are really brainwashed and then you need to wake up fuka baba fuka accept chickies in toba fuka <laughs> this is how the video went hey 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 a real car must be coming from europe hey 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 a car must be coming from america what is this look at it what the hell is this yes bonus alam wrong amanda man if you're sitting wherever you're sitting right now thinking only great comes from uh, Europe or from USA or anywhere that is not in Asia. You've got a bigger problem that you, than you think you have. Because this right here, what I'm looking at, it's one of the greatest automotive design that I've seen to ever come out of China straight into South Africa. Oh, and by the way, this one, it's a Chinese Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> yeah, it's a Chinese Mercedes-Benz because of the following. This company oh, is a majority shareholder in Daimler, Daimler of Mercedes-Benz. The hence this uh, bike is sharing so many parts with the with the Mercedes-Benz. For example, the seats that you see in here in this bike that look AMG stylish are basically from AMG or designed by AMG teams. Uh, the indicators are also from Mercedes-Benz. The two liters that are in bike are also shared or found in the mercedes-benz uh, glc starting off with the front of the car there's nothing to hate about it just look at it the grill the meshed grill design you know this design is beautiful it's unique it's not in any car believe me if this car had a mercedes-benz badge or audi or bmw it would sell more than it's selling look at the uh, headlight design the mesh thingy uh, continues as well the led fog lights eh? look at it and then this is just below half a million to be specific, this car will cost you around 489000 Yep. Oh, and by the way, uh, they are using so many strategies to in order for them to attract buyers because now with the entry level, the, the mid-spec and the top level, you all get alloys at least. There's a, there's a dynamic spec, there is a elite and then there's a premium. They all come with uh, alloys. Although... The premium comes with um, 19 inches alloy and the dynamic and the elite comes with an 18 inches alloy the top trim has red seats that looks exactly like those from the mercedes-benz amg entry level gray and brown top trim red and stylish although the design of the seat is the same it's beautiful it's comfortable it's all that but the difference is the Here's another one, the Hyundai i20 end line. This is, should be the best South Africa's small hot hatch, if there's category of such name, because this car has got a lot to offer. It offers everything. It is a direct competitor to the Polo R line, uh, but it hasn't been given a chance like the Polo GTA was given. And I know why. We all know why. We are all brainwashed to believe that the great comes from German only. But look at this car and tell me if there's anything wrong about it. Don't tell me about qualities and five years and ten years to come. We are not there yet. Yeah, buy this car now. Drive it for ten years and see what happens. Then we can talk. I believed so much in the in the Hyundai i20N 
to the point whereby I made more than one videos. If you can check in my channel, there's more than one videos of the Hyundai i20N. I mean, i20N line. This is how the review of the Hyundai i20N line went. So guys, this is the i20 and line the side profile this is how it looks i'm not complaining with anything else the ground clearance is also good i love the fact that this one is in two tones you know your red and the contrasting black and it's just not a black it's close black even the mirrors are close black as well you know i love how the end line uh, logo over there contrast with the roof and the mirrors because it's also with some black now let's come a little bit to the front here and check it out it's on xenon lights over there the, the front grille that separates this one and the normal car, the front grille is close plague as well, which attract that as you can see. Yeah, a front grille there with an end line beijing over there as well. And then also you've got a xenon LED lighting. You've got um, LED fog light. You've got daytime, LED daytime driving lights over there. Now, uh, this one caught me really with a big surprise because I never expected the Cherry to go range uh, that I've got in my channel to do so well. Basically, if I can be honest with you guys, the Cherry Tigo brands, all of them, took my channel from level A to level B. Because the, the, the viewing, uh, the comments, the likes in all my Cherry Tigo cars was, it, it, it still is great even today. To the point whereby the, the content was so relevant to the point whereby I've got a couple of people that uh, private me private messaged me asking about uh, certain things in the car some of them went as far as buying the tigo 8 uh, uh pro i've got uh, one guy that actually told mr that he bought the tigo 8 pro max because he saw the review in my in my channel then he liked it then he went out and tested it out and then he liked everything that he saw yes so the content for the tigo was for me outstanding great you know it took my channel from way 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 way, way high even the the qualification to join the the program was mostly because of the range of the videos from the uh, Cherry Tigo. And then this is how the video went. So oh, I'm a bit disappointed, guys. I'm a bit disappointed is the car does not sound good. It's very quiet. It's very low. It sounds just like me right now. <laughs> yeah, don't buy the Tigo uh, 8 Pro Max thinking it sounds great. No, it doesn't. Actually, the cold start of this car sounds as the normal start of my Tucson N. Yeah, it's not uh, sounding good. However, it, it, it is very fast. 187 kilowatts and 390 newton meters of torque is it's something else it sounds very very fast but it's not uh, i mean it drives fast but it's not uh sounding very good yeah it doesn't sound good that's the unfortunate part about it now this one also surprised me a lot because i never thought it would perform the way it did until it hit me oh it's a car for the petrol heads all the petrol hedonism out there love this car because it's rare, it's powerful, it's got V8, it's, it's, it's very strong, you know. Uh, petrol heads, the auto industry out there, they love this car. So the, the video did very, very well. I was actually a bit surprised because I thought, ah, you know what, let me just do it, you know. I love this car, you know. I call it Basa Basa because of the big bear at the back. I can imagine in the boardroom at Chevrolet uh, before this car was produced, uh, I'm sure they were all sitting in the boardroom and then planning the next car and then the bosses were near a practical V8. Any ideas? And someone just stand up and pitch this, what you're looking at right now here. Um, a pickup truck with two-seater, but that boasts the V8 engine in the front. And then I'm sure some people were like, huh? How is that going to be possible? And then the design team came with the design of the SS um ssb if I, if I should say and then um this was pitched and then it was approved it is basically based on the sedan that of the same name uh, from the same manufacturer and everything else that one is a four seater and this one here it's um it's a two seater but however even though they said they want a practical v8 uh for people to use and still have the power and still be two in the car uh the public outside they did not do what uh was envisioned by by chevrolet because People did not take this and make it practical or use it to deliver stuff, whatever. No, it was a flex car. It still is even today. Everyone who drives this car is not going to put bricks or cement or anything at the, at the back, at that bird. No, it's for the flex only. Yes, a practical a sports V8 car that hosts only two people.
the auto designs uh, over 10 years ago were simple simplistic um there was not much of the technology happening there was not much of the complicated things happening i mean look at this ssv right now here on that note thanks for watching stay tuned subscribe so i'll see you in the next one peace